come. Let's go. Come on, try me. Let's just leave with that for now. So Harry and his crew live down here. This is Borga. And look, he's fighting Daytron's mechanized troops. They must have come here looking for that key piece. like one of the ancient kings, the Cancer King. But why is he here? Don't get so worked up. It's just a ghost. <gasps> just a ghost? Harry. <laughs> oh, don't try to move, Borga. different, but I know it's you. I could never forget those gentle eyes. You were my top retainer, and my friend. It's been too long, Borga. <laughs> my friend, have you been watching over my tomb all this time? Yet, I was unable to protect the kingdom that you and I worked so hard to build together. Please forgive me, Borga. I am sorry for failing you. <coughs> That's enough, Borga, my friend. Our time has come to an end. You and I do not belong in this era. We are merely ghosts hanging on to the past. Come with me, Borga. It is time to depart. Borga, you're... No! Borga! Don't go! Borga! Borga! 
个。So, Borga was the Cancer King's vassal. And he kept on guarding the king all this time, even after he turned into a beast. Cancer King's key piece. Harry, you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. It's better this way. I mean, did you see him? Borga was actually smiling. Yeah, you're right. This is better. Borga finally got to go home. Home to the beloved king he had always dreamed about. We'll keep trying our hardest too, Borga. We'll do whatever it takes to survive down here. All right then. Thanks a lot. Now that you have that key piece thing you came looking for, I guess you're all set. You're gonna leave now, huh? You knew about that? Yeah, well, you know. Listen, come back here anytime, okay? I'll be waiting for you. Got it. Good luck, Harry. You bet. That's all three key pieces. Our wait is over. I bet Valcog's gang is gritting their teeth right about now. Let's go! I'll take you on. This is what you get, Jester! Feeling. Let's hurry. Let's hurry. Eden is within our reach. Come on, try me. Too easy. I 
bet Valcog's gang is gritting their teeth right about now. Hope it all goes well. I'll take you on. No big deal. Huh? Why did they even bother jumping us? Let's keep this pace up. Valcog's gang is still looking for the pieces? Here they come! You think I'm gonna go easy? Uh-oh. I'm not good. Let's just leave it at that for now. We're gonna have trouble getting through here. Nothing but tough guys, huh? Valcog's gang is gritting their teeth right about now. Of course you can. 
So just relax and go to sleep now, Mark. Okay. Good night, Dad. <gasps> Dr. Boccaccio? I'm terribly sorry. I must have slipped into sleep mode without realizing it. That's strange. Everything seems to be operating normally. Oh, really? Well, it's good to rest your circuits once in a while using sleep mode. Make sure you continue to do so. Yes, Doctor. I will. So, we've got the three key pieces, have we? Ah, Valkog. I can just see your whining face now. <laughs> oh no! This is terrible! Calm down. What happened? The three key pieces! The three key pieces we collected! Yeah? What about them? They've been stolen! What? What do you mean, Simon? And this was left behind in its place! Hey, how's it going? I see all your goofy mugs are here. Sorry, but those three key pieces had to come with me. I really appreciate the help, folks. We went through a lot together, you know? Ah, good times. Well, gotta go. Good luck with all that treasure hunting. Ciao. That bastard! He double-crossed us! Papa, try to calm down. What does Zekrom want with the key pieces anyway? He must want the treasures of Eden all to himself. Isn't there a way we can go after him? Wait. I hear something. Hey. He's still on board the ship. Jester, wait! Zegram! <laughs> Jester. So, you actually think you can stop me, do you? Give me back the key pieces, Zegram. Or else. <laughs> or else. You've been rubbing me the wrong way ever since I met you. Let's end this.
Not good. Gotten a little better, I see. Wish I could play some more, but I've got other plans. Later, kid. Zagrum! for the Rosa Desert Ruins. But that's where Valkog is right now. <gasps> Wait, was Zegrim in cahoots with Valkog all along? Most likely. This is horrible. We can't let him hand the key pieces over to Valkog. Let's get to the Rosa Desert Ruins, and fast. Full speed ahead! Horde Runner! Our destination is Planet Rosa! The Desert Ruin! Aye, aye! Ah, I see that you've made it. It was very wise of me to plant you on Dorgan Goa's ship. Now, bring the three key pieces over here. Wait just a second. You remember our deal, right? Our deal? Oh, uh, yes, uh, your girlfriend. Uh, what is her name? Jane. Ah, yes, yes, Jane. Jane's revivification is coming along quite nicely as part of Daytron's rebirth program. Now, the pieces if you would. No, not until I see some proof. There's a slight problem, sir. The rune-based rebirth program has already been reworked. We have no proof. I know, I know. We just need to placate him and get those key pieces. Even if we wanted to show you proof, Zegram, we can't. Your girlfriend is in a Daytron lab, right in the middle of the rebirth program. She is on strict bed rest. Please, be patient. Yes, uh, the professor's right. I can vouch for that. Uh, now, uh, the, the key pieces, if you please. <laughs> you really think I'm that stupid? The experiments being conducted in Zerard prison. They aren't for any rebirth program. They're trying to turn humans into monsters. I suppose that's how you roped in Rosencaster, too. Why, you? You're not trying to figure out how to bring people back from the dead. You use Rune to turn humans into battle monsters. What you really want is to use monsters to stir up more conflict so you can rake in the cash. Oh! Well, if you know so much, why would you bring us the key pieces so readily? Well, you know... How should I put this? I wanted to settle this myself. Or, uh, something like that. Oh, I see. Then let's settle this once and for all, this little issue of ours. 
Not you again. Father, may I have your permission to remove my mask now? Oh, is his face ready then? Yes, it has been completed. It is now in an acceptable condition. Very well then, show us. Oh my, they did an impressive job. What? But how? What's going on here? We have no more use for this fellow, Seed. Take care of him, but only after you retrieve the key pieces. I will. Feeling all right? Your face is awfully pale. Plus, you look like this guy I absolutely despise. But whatever. Bring it on. Piss off! Freak of nature. Giving up already? Too bad I had hoped for so much more. Sorry to disappoint. Well now, it's about time. Zagro! Give back the key pieces! Here. They're all yours, kid. Damn things are worthless to me. Take them and get out now. Huh? Whoa! I will defeat all three of you and take the key pieces. Sorry, you two. But it looks like we're all in this together. Let me ask you this, just in case. If I asked nicely, would you be prepared to give them back? Huh. Over my dead body. I thought so. All right. I shall do as you wish. I'd like to see you try. Zegram, don't forget which side you're on. <laughs> All right, let's get this over with.
The tablet's reacting to the key pieces. Stick the pieces in those things. You're right. It's better than getting them stolen. Go for it! All right! you can solve this puzzle, the gates to Eden will remain closed. In other words, they are testing our abilities. They? The people of Eden only allow the brightest and best. But I can't say I know why myself. I don't get it. What did you plan on doing with this huge thing? There's no way you could possibly move something this big. Well, what did you expect? Of course it's not an easy puzzle to solve, but I have found a way to do it. See! Father, at last, the time has come for me to fulfill my ultimate purpose. That is right. You were born for precisely this moment. Now you must prove yourself as an entity that far surpasses all other species. That is right. I have waited for this. Waited for this moment since my creation. Yes, I shall show them the proof. Proof that I am an entity that far surpasses all. I am the ultimate being. You should watch this part, Father. <laughs> now, let us begin. Gabaron de la Arzeth, Galtzen Norzeth. Sku de la Gita, Leu Sendra Uglor.
Aha! It seems that I was correct after all! What is he anyway? <laughs> ah, very well. I suppose I can tell you about him. You see, Seed is an artificial human, created by analyzing the genetic code that has been engraved upon the Great Tablets. Artificial... human? I figured the hints needed to open the door were hidden within the volumes of data written on the Great Tablets. But we needed to decipher the text in order to find out. My outstanding scientists, Datron's pride and joy, put their heads together to unlock the message contained within. That's when it hit us. The letter's arrangement closely resembled that of the human genetic code. Realizing the similarities, it was a simple matter of converting the code into genes and reconstructing an entity from them. The final result was an artificial human. And the product of that is C. Seed has powers we normal humans lack. He is an envoy, sent by Eden's inhabitants to guide us to their land. So you're saying... he was created? doing wrong? Why can I not solve this? Impossible! What are you doing, you worthless twit? <laughs> the... Worthless? That's enough. You're no longer needed. This... this is not... Don't you understand? Results are everything, Seed. The gates didn't open. That means you are an abject failure. What? I'm... A, a failure? An abject failure? <laughs> Wait, father! You... you told me... You told me that I was special! I... I am outstanding, am I not? I surpass all others, correct? That is what you told me, father! Ah, I have no use for you anymore! Get lost, Seed, you dud. Why? Why? I... I... I am not a failure! <laughs> what else can I do? What else is there? After all, I am a failure. I have no choice. <laughs> uh. 
Hey, didn't you hear the man? There's no use for you anymore. Afraid your time's up, freak. Yeah. Why? You. Degrum! Oh ho! Looks like those rune cells we implanted just for kicks have activated. Ah, now this should be interesting. Let's see which one of you can defeat the new beast seed. <laughs> But this... Well, well. So now he's a monster, huh? <laughs> this ought to be loads of fun. What's going on? Whew. I was never meant to solve that puzzle. 
What was written on the tablets was not meant to create me. Oh, Father. There was so much you misunderstood. <laughs> I could see your memories during our battle. I saw them all. Humans, they truly are such pointless little creatures. However, I also wanted to live as you did, as a regular human. That is all. I ever wanted. I think it's best if I just say goodbye for now. <laughs> Farewell then! <laughs> What a disappointment that was, losing poor little Seed like that. Hmm. What a total waste of money he was. When we get back to headquarters, we will have to come up with another way to solve that puzzle. Sir, we're just leaving them there? What? Don't worry about them. They can't do a thing about that puzzle. Now that you mention it, you're probably right. <laughs> Here we go. School de la Gita Leo Sandra Ugo. say a man by that name ruled the galaxy long ago. According to the legends, the Star King had enough strength to move entire towns. Are you saying what I think you're saying? Jaster is the Star King! No, but one of the Star King's descendants could very well live on in this day and age. Is that truly possible? The Star King reigned 50,000 years ago. Jaster, what did you do back there? I don't know. What's happening to me? I don't have a clue to what's going on. Are you all right, Jester? Yeah. Look, you did it. 
You open the gates to Eden. Hey, Zegram, you really pulled a fast one on me back there. Before we head for Eden, I have a score to settle with you. Whatever. Boil me, fry me, I don't care. Captain, Zegram was misled too. Don't be too hard on him. Yeah, and we've opened the gates to Eden. Can't we let it go? Hmm, how about it, Zegram? Pledge your eternal loyalty to me, and I'll reconsider. Yeah, right. I'd rather die. What?! Now, now, Captain. Zegram's strong. We could certainly do worse than having him on our team. That's right. Come on, Papa. Please? Fine. I'll let you slide, just this once. That's great. You know, <laughs> I never thought you'd put your life on the line for a lady, Zegram. <laughs> Who knew you were such a sap? <laughs> Shut up. Really, though, what was I thinking? You can't just go around bringing dead people back. I did know that, somehow. Somewhere deep inside. But I put my faith in the 1% chance that Jane could come back. She was my true treasure. The best in the galaxy. Zagrom. Your treasure. Maybe we can get it back. What did you say? We're heading for Eden. <laughs> You were really serious about that, huh? The Phantom Utopia. Home to untold riches. And the land of the eternal soul to boot. Are you saying that once we get there, we can bring Jane back to life? <laughs> right, I don't think so. Ha <laughs> Ah, uh, man. <laughs> I guess I'll never learn. Fine. I'm with you all the way on this one. The mysteries of Eden are just ahead of us. Let's keep moving forward. I'll be waiting inside the ship, as usual. All right, you dogs! Get us there. Come on, Jaster. Chicken out, right?